I'm not usually one to play Minecraft with the music on. Crazy, I know. And it's not because I don't like the music, far from it. The new music is one of my favorite parts of the new updates. But the main reason that I don't play with the music on is because I have a video or other music playing in the background. Sometimes Minecraft music, I just like having control over the music, okay? Point is, despite not listening to it in-game, I like the music. New or old, C418 or any of the new composers, I think they work with the game super well. But they are different. Like, listening to the original music and the newer music just gives off a separate vibe. I think in the context of the game, they're absolutely fine, but without it, eh... It's hard for me to jump right from a volume alpha song, for example, then to a Trails and Tales song. It feels like the mood has just completely changed. I'd like to understand why they feel so different. Why do I get different vibes from them? Because I thought they were just trying to replicate C418 style, but at the same time, it doesn't exactly feel like it. I can't tell if I'm just nostalgic for these tracks and older Minecraft in general, when the game and really everything was so much simpler. I want to figure this out by analyzing and comparing two specific soundtracks. Minecraft Volume Alpha, the original music of the overworld, and the music created basically when the entire overworld was redone, the Caves and Cliffs soundtrack. I feel like these two are the best to compare because they're so similar and different at the same time, one matching more with the original overworld and one that matches the newer one better. So let's begin. I'm already aware tons of people have made their own videos talking about the music C418's done for Minecraft, so I'll try to keep this section fairly short, and if you want to hear more, uh, check out any of these videos. I think the original music works with the game super well. It complements how simple Minecraft at its core is by being simple itself. Featuring only a few instruments, and it doesn't really force itself upon you. What I mean is that you can sometimes literally forget that it's playing, even whenever it's the only thing that you hear. Because it's not the focus. It takes an interesting approach to being a video game soundtrack because it doesn't really emphasize your location or really anything about the game itself. It sounds as if the music emphasizes the player, motivating you to keep building and creating. The music gives you purpose in what you're doing and can be interpreted in so many different ways. Honestly, I think the only other music in the game like this is the creative music, as it was made to literally motivate you to keep creating. I'm gonna cut myself off from talking about this before this video becomes unnecessarily long. So moving on from Volume Alpha to the Caves and Cliffs soundtrack, we now have music that takes a more traditional approach to being a video game soundtrack. What I mean is, unlike Volume Alpha, this time it is emphasizing location, which may be a bit odd compared to the music that we just talked about, but with context, this makes perfect sense. Between Volume Alpha and Caves and Cliffs, we got three separate soundtracks soundtracks, Volume Beta, the update aquatic soundtrack, and the Nether update soundtrack. Volume Beta added music to separate parts of the game that needed it. Each one is so unique compared to another part of the game that it wouldn't exactly make sense to have the same music play in all of these parts. That's also what 1.13, or the update aquatic, did as well. Especially since this music only plays when you're underwater, this music makes this section of the game feel completely different from any other part. And this new music isn't exactly like Volume Alpha. This music, alongside the classic Nether music from Volume Beta, focuses more on emphasizing location. The next time that we got new music was with the Nether update, where it also made sense. This Nether is now very different from before, so we need new music to better fit the new Nether. Of course, the original music still works fine, but the new music helps with the feeling of the Nether being much more alive and fits the mood with some of the new features very well. And just following the pattern, Caves and Cliffs has new music for this new overworld. I think in many ways this music does reach the same marks that I didn't mention as the original. There are a lot of similarities, but I think there's a big difference between the purpose of these soundtracks. Like mentioned before, this soundtrack along with the previous two focuses more on emphasizing location, but also exploration. There's a major theme of not only this update, but also the previous two. The songs that we got from these soundtracks sounds as if they want you to explore these places through creating wonder, and making these places feel much more alive, and that there's so much to see, you just have to go out there and see it. And I don't think it's just for these updates. In the past we've already had the adventure update and the exploration update, and there were themes of exploration in the two updates following Caves and Cliffs. I think the new music works so well because it respects the original music, matches the locations this music was made for, and also captures Minecraft's core gameplay, or now second core gameplay, exploration. Yes, it's not volume alpha capturing the core gameplay of you creating things, making memories, and doing whatever you want, but I don't think it's trying to be. Minecraft is now an incredibly different game from what it was before. I mean, basically everything since the game's official launch has been changed. For older players, this music shows how much Minecraft has evolved, and when this update came out, or someone would play this update for the first time, just like 1.13 and 16, everything feels new again, like it's your first time playing the game, and that there's so many new possibilities. To help with emphasizing the large scale of the caves and mountains, this music sounds a lot more grand. 
making the scale of the world that you get to do whatever you want in feel gigantic. I think this music nails the feeling of something new so well, and there's a reason why I'm talking so passionately about this. As said in Jayshlot's A Tribute to Minecraft video, Minecraft is not knowing how to play Minecraft, and I couldn't agree with this more, because my most fond memories of playing this game come from not knowing whatever I was doing, from whenever I played the game for the first time and experienced every mechanic for the first time, the first time that I found diamonds, built stuff with a redstone, enchanted my items, and just doing anything. This game was so amazing to me whenever I was younger because I was experiencing this game with so many possibilities for the first time. The unfamiliarity and getting this feeling of so many possibilities is what I love about this game and these new updates, especially when an entire section of the game that I'm already familiar with gets reworked and then I'm suddenly unfamiliar with it. The first time that I stepped into the new nether, I had no idea what I was doing, what the best strategies were, or honestly what all the new features of this new place was. I was seeing basically a whole new dimension full of mobs, items, and blocks that I had never seen before, and I get the same feeling from caves and cliffs even to this day. To explore and create in this massive world, stepping into caves hundreds of blocks high and low, or climbing a mountain to see what's on the other side, it's exciting, and this new music, another thing that I'm not familiar with, that not only makes this world feel alive, but sparks the same wonder that I got whenever I was listening to the original soundtrack. I will say though, I still don't think anything beats the original music. To briefly mention the Wild Update soundtrack and the Trails and Tales soundtrack, I think this music just continues the pattern. We have the original songs which emphasizes the player more, and now all the new songs just emphasize the world you're in. Despite listening to these new overworld songs a lot and enjoying them, I feel like I somehow never gave them the same chance that I gave the original music. This video has made these songs for me feel less different from one another, like they do belong together. I know not everyone's going to agree with this video, and I don't expect you to. I just wanted to get my thoughts out there about this music, but much like how there's so much more to say about the original songs, I believe there's so much more to say about the new songs. Still not playing with the music on.